That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. I can't open that. There's no path beyond this point. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Oh, fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. No time to talk. <laughs> we have to tidy up and split like a wishbone. <laughs> Yeah, little pigeon humor. The bar's out of business. Hmm, too bad. A root beer would have been nice. Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. A totally radical convention with all your favorite sci-fi shows, comic books, and the latest computer and video game technology. Listen to our sponsor, KSCUM 198.7 FM, for your chance to win tickets. Key ceremony at City Hall. Come and watch beloved entrepreneur Areno Chuck Edmund receive the key to the town for his contributions to the local economy. Complimentary shrimp buffet for attendees at the Edmund Hotel after the ceremony. Wanted. Booze donations. Help out old Willie with a contribution straight to his liver. <laughs> Come find me by the burning trash can near Oakle Books. Playtime is over at the Park Arcade. Blast bad guys in a tournament of our latest game, Die, Enemy, Die. Highest scorer gets free tokens all night. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Dad wanted sons, but he got daughters. So let us fix your leaking waters. With our latest Wrenchtron 3000 technology, we can fix paranormal emergencies, possibly. Roses are red, pillows are white. Get our special bundle and stay up all night. $50 Valentine's special at Fancy Nancy Flowers, sponsored by Pilotronics. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline act, Ransom the Insult Clown. Minors must be accompanied by an adult, and if you're offended, it's your own beeping fault. These must contain journalistic gold or old classified ads.
I don't want to open it. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's a color Copytron 3000. I might break the tube. Color Copytron 3000 for all your copying needs. Copies five cents each. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Clark Kent? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of oddorino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agricultural investment? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Tell me more. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena. You know what I mean? I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. What do you know about the Pillow Factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence. And I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Thimbleweed Nickel, established 19...
Kutenberg would be proud. It's a map of the tri thimbleweed Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. All boarded up, and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. It's a sticky tape dispenser. It says, for government use only. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. It's a postal scale. It says, for government use only. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. It's a slot for mail. Not much else to see. There are boxes waiting to be shipped or picked up. But not by anyone in this game. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Yeah, I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and you know? all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Good one. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. How can I help, Agent Reyes? Thanks for your help. Anytime. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box and we promise not to peek inside your mail. Be with you. How can I help, Agent Reyes? Thanks for your help. Anytime. I used to have a dime, but I, I dropped it. Hey, if you see a dime, it's mine. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. 
Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. I can see something is in your pocket. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It's in plain sight. I don't even need a warrant to just take it. It's mine. Finders keepers. Hand over the wallet. Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now, look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way, for now. Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, uh, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronic Playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? I lost my dimes somewhere. This has got to be a fire hazard. I used to have a... Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Electrical and paranormal investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. It says, occult books. It says, occult books. The monkey paw knows. Not getting any closer to that. No way I'm touching that. It's on cursed wheels. I can't reach that. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. It's a book with a skull on the cover. Ah, huh, not just any book with a skull on the cover. It's the Book of the Dead. Take it if you wish. 
It's on the house. But beware! Beware of what? <laughs> Nothing, it just sounded ominous. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Seb the Navigator's head. It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic Special Drops. The label says. Restores your vision with a soothing river of tears. Side effects may invoke painful memories. The label says Hao Ling King Yao Tea, a magical tea, gives you the gift of speaking many languages. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or, or uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an agaricus fungus visionum delectamentum mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Fascinating. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex Ransom the Clown? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bat, Agent Reyes? Hello? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Tell me about yourself, Madame Morina. There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. 
After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it was a serious spiritual practice. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm going to retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. Why did you set up shop here? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy, which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I can see a quickie pal store. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Not getting any closer to that. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. It looks pretty ratty. And I do mean ratty. No way I'm touching that. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. Damn hole in my pocket always losing money. Looks like they're having a big sale in there. Hey, if you see a dime, mine. Thank you. Damn hole in my pocket always losing money. Hello again. Hand over your... I may be a drunk bum, but I... Find me a... We'll talk later. Where would... Have you seen my dime? I used to have a dime, but I... I... Filled to the brim with smelly trash. What happened to my dime? Have you seen my dime? He doesn't want it. Damn hole in my pocket always losing money. It's a water hydrant with a strangely glowing tube on top. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. There's nothing up ahead but road. The town's in the other direction.
the bulb's broken. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head, origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. That's the coroner's job. Ah, that stings! <laughs> I miss my father. I never really knew him, and he won't leave my thoughts. Wow, I feel better. Ah, no tengo idea de lo que estoy diciendo. His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. There's no wallet in his pockets, but we found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Ugh. Smells awful. It doesn't go there. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. I can't budge it. I can't budge it. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. I can't push that. I can't push that. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Attention, all units! Enough screwing around, I've got a case to solve. Insert three reports from the Blocktron 3000, Fingertron 3000 and Facetron 3000 
into the it's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important. The radio is turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. Find Chet for the secret code. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Lots of medical books there. Ugh, smells awful. It's my specks of dust. The doors are locked, and nobody... It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. It's a dime. the back door to the diner. What a mess. It's locked. Yes, I can use it by tossing something in it. That doesn't seem to work. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. The radio is turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu. I guess I'm not hungry. Thanks for your- Anytime. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir, it is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say insert coupon for movie. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Agent Ray. Agent Ray, is that you? No, it's the Pope. The Vatican decided to take me on a tour of the sewers. Of course it's me, you idiot. Have you looked around the sewers yet? Yeah. And I couldn't find an exit. There is a payphone down here, though, so I might be able to call someone. Neat! Except I don't have any dimes, and my cell phone doesn't work down here. I Stand back, Agent Ray. I'll drop you a dime. Sorry, but we're out to dinner. Call back next week. There's a dime in the coin return. An empty coin return slot. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Secondhand crystals?
Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone. Thanks. It needs a dime to work. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. I should have expected Reno it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no Donut Arenos down here. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Yeah, I'll run that up the home office Reno flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. Oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. Stay out of my way, and you might learn something. What am I going to do with a pile of dust? Like I don't have enough to carry already. Whatever. 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 Like I don't have enough to carry already. Thanks. I hope you kept your eyeballs off it. I'd play if it were a sure thing. He looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dudette. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. It's a video camera. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you
Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that, Dweeb, when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense taken. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal for one. I'm going to look around your store. How about that sun? 